Hi guys, my name is Carl. I'm from the All Balls, and today we have another All Balls special. Our guest today has probably been able to play in all the corners of the nation in his very young career. He's a local lad, one of our favorites. He's the ace of Ambarnath and currently the pride of Jamshedpur FC. Farooq Chaudhary, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. So Farooq, yeah. yes. how did the beautiful game find you? So yeah, to start with, actually, it's a very uh, interesting story. I uh, I gave my name for the marathon when I was in fifth standard. In the summer mm. vacations, you have different kinds of games, and that time, unfortunately, I didn't get a call for that marathon, and I was really sad. And uh, you know, uh, luckily, football was the only game left, and uh, they asked me if you want to join. So for the inter house tournament. You know, you have uh-huh. different houses in the school. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I came back home. I asked my parents. My father said, "Yes, go for it." And uh, I, from that time, I joined football, and I think it's the most beautiful thing that has happened to me. And uh-huh. I'm so grateful that I have football in my life. Uh, that, that's how I mean, it all started. Then into house, then school, and so on. You know. I'm but, sure. I'm sure. I mean, like again, what is what is long distance running loss is football's gain. So I mean, yes, I'm glad so, to have you that you made that decision. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, at what point, though, uh, Farooq? I mean, in your life, did you actually think that okay, fine, I can make something out of this. I can become a professional football. What at what? Where was that turning point where you said, okay, fine, I'm going to make this a career? Uh, yeah. So after starting uh, football for the school team, you know, mm-hmm. uh, there, there's a local club where I play here in Ambarnath. It's called the Diamonds Club, Diamond Sports Association. So there, I had a lot of uh, senior players and coaches who actually helped me grow. from that age and then uh, i finished my 10 standard board exams and you get a 3 to 4 months gap where you wait for your results and you have nothing to do absolutely nothing to do uh, so i was just training you know morning evening whole day on the ground and uh, you never get tired you know at that point of time you never mm-hmm. get tired i was always on the ground and i think that was the time when i realized that i want to uh, take football as my profession i want to become a professional player i spoke to my coaches you know how can i go about it so they told me about different academies so actually that was the first time when i came to know about tata football academy i tried okay. there but uh, i was already 15 and i couldn't join tata football academy they had some other criteria which i was not able to fulfill but other than that then i played for my college and everything and luckily i got mm-hmm. a chance to play for nationals and that's when uh everything started um uh, you know you it's very important to be at the right place at the right time so mm-hmm. i think that's what happened with me so it okay kept on going on and uh i i became a professional player fair enough farooq and i mean you started your professional career with lone star kashmir and of yeah. course you you've been to a lot of other clubs also as well and as i mentioned you know into your introduction you've pretty much been in each and every corner of the nation How was it like, you know, like going from place to place and you know gaining more experience? Give us a little bit more detail about that experience, taking your first steps as a professional. Yes. So, firstly, before Lone Star Kashmir FC, I was in Pune FC uh, mm-hmm. Academy, the under nineteen team, and uh, that was my first experience to be among players who were from different states, different cultures. You know, you have so many different cultures in different states to actually mm-hmm. gel with them. to bond with them to learn from them and uh, uh, for me that one year in pune fc academy was amazing my coach mm-hmm. noshad musa uh, he he has helped me a lot uh, for being whatever i am today he has a part in that and uh, that season i think we had one of the best teams in the under 19 teams we actually uh, uh, got to play so many uh, big tournaments in the country which you go to play like uh, in the sikkim there was sikkim gold cup then the under 19 i leagues and different uh, tournaments we went to play and uh, the ifc shield under 19 ifc shield we got to play that as well so that was an amazing experience i scored a lot of goals that season you know <laughs> because i had uh, i had amazing players in my team who could provide me with assists and you know uh, beautiful crosses i just had to go there tap the ball inside the post that that's all i scored some you know <laughs> 25 30 goals that season and from that point uh the next year unfortunately pune fc shut down okay and 
uh, it was really sad for players like us who were uh, going to be graduated in the senior team mm-hmm. so we had uh, i i didn't have any other option you know i went for trials for different clubs but uh, you know it's very difficult to go on trials in the i league teams to actually make it to the first level but then mm. uh, noshad musa coach he helped us to uh, get to kashmir so lone star kashmir uh, were trying to build their team and three players from pune fc myself ashir akhtar and altamash three of us we went there uh, you know and mm. uh, the place is beautiful it's uh, it's unbelievable you cannot believe your eyes that you're actually seeing something beautiful but then <laughs> the people are also beautiful and uh, actually they have good footballers there which i I'm don't sure think people, do, yeah. people really know about uh when they're to play in that atmosphere so cold it's like you cannot feel your hands and legs once you play, uh, enter the field it's yeah. so cold yeah and uh, the people there they supported like the the supporters were amazing every game even though the stadium was small but it was uh, jam packed every time we played there and uh, personally for me they loved me so much it was amazing <laughs> like i was the main player there uh, like a foreign player you know to going from here to there scoring goals it was amazing and then uh, uh, to have that experience in the I- second division of i league people actually don't know it's really tough uh people think it's easy because everyone wants to give their best everyone wants to prove themselves there to go in uh, the first league so it was mm-hmm. difficult and uh, we actually qualified the zonals and went into the final round uh oh. but we couldn't uh, yeah we couldn't win the league but we did pretty well we had a good team actually we had a team without foreigners without any foreigners mm. we all played as indian players and oh. then in the final round uh, we uh, got if you know adil bhai adil khan adil khan okay yes 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 he came in the final rounds to play for us he was injured he uh, he became fit again he you know went through the recovery process and he wanted to play a few games just before joining isl and uh, he came and you know helped us in the final rounds we had a good team but we didn't win the championship but it was an amazing experience to play in that atmosphere to actually then play against mohammed and i remember the stadium was full and how the mm-hmm. fans you know they mock you uh, the opponent team uh, to get all that experience in that age i was uh, i was 19 20 i think it was amazing <laughs> and from there playing for the jammu and kashmir state i played there the santosh trophy wow. yes because i was registered there i couldn't play for uh, maharashtra maharashtra okay. contacting the maharashtra management they said because you are registered there you cannot play for us and there ah. the coach told me that you know i trust in you i need you in my team then i uh, that was really when a coach tells you that it's very easy for you to settle in the yeah. team yeah so i went there play for the played for the team uh, scored goals there as well then we qualified the zonals in the santosh trophy as well then went to nagpur for the finals round but uh, in the final round the uh, the teams were really good <laughs> we didn't do <laughs> we didn't do well honestly we didn't do well maharashtra well, was really good yeah uh, well I, i i like the fact that you mentioned about atmospheres and how you enjoyed kashmir and you know yes. being for jam and even representing jammu and kashmir and it brings me now to your part in your stint at the isl itself you know and yes. i know right now you're currently with jamshedpur fc and you've also been with kerala blasters mumbai city fc I would say, like I'm sure, right now you would definitely say that the Jamshedpur atmosphere is your favorite atmosphere. So I'm going to flip this question a little bit and ask you, what would you think is this, is the best atmosphere you've ever experienced playing against, like an opponent's atmosphere? Like, say your Jamshedpur has gone somewhere and you guys have gone on the road and are playing somewhere. What do you think has been the best atmosphere as a footballer? Best atmosphere. This is a very biased question, I would say, because everyone <laughs> knows the answer is going to be Kerala Blasters. Okay. The atmosphere is amazing. I've played for them. I've played against them. Uh-huh. So I remember when I used to play for them. That time, the stadium was completely packed. Yeah. We, if we wanted to pass some information to the other player, to our teammates, and if we just wanted to talk, we could not hear each other. It was difficult. It was really <laughs> difficult. That yes, difficult. And the fans were amazing. to play in that atmosphere you know, i don't think uh, 
we as professional footballers uh, we don't want anything else that's the best thing a professional player can get in the stadium you know it yeah. was amazing but right now obviously i play for jamshedpur fc and not not just for the sake of saying it i'm not saying yeah. that but the the atmosphere at jamshedpur the furnace in jamshedpur is amazing it's for every sure. time packed for all the games you know and it's amazing even though uh, the people there are crazy for football you know uh, yeah. now also you get a lot of messages you know even though even though they are not in the stadium i i get so many messages you know we are wa- we are watching we are supporting from home you know all that all those things so i just can't wait to actually get the fans in the stadium and play in front of them but yeah to answer your question i would say jamshedpur fc right now but to play uh-huh. against i would say kerala blasters yeah Uh, the football state crazy. I mean, the football crazy state of Kerala. You can't go wrong. I mean, I think yes. we've heard that from a lot of other people as well. I've spoken to so many other footballers. They keep saying, like, "Yeah, man, that the atmosphere in Kerala maybe yes. probably a close second." They always say is Calcutta for some weird reason, like because of you know yes. ADK and and East Bengal and stuff. But now switching on to the next question, though, uh, Farooq, you've again said you've mentioned a few people now before, like, but who do you think are the greatest influences for you? in your football career so far like who are the people you go to for advice on a daily basis like who you look up to so there are few senior players right now in my life but when i started playing football uh, there were different people in my life whom you know i was really close with i would ask advice to uh, there are few coaches who who are in ambarnath you know mm-hmm. where i stay uh, my local club diamonds club they are always there okay. for me you know whenever i need some advice but other than that if i talk about professional footballers i think anas bhai has been uh-huh. a constant you know a guide for me he has been my inspiration i always tell that everywhere but <laughs> other than him uh, there are few other players for example uh, legend steven dice of uh, course yeah yes yeah I, i'm really close to him whenever i need advice i i contact him and uh, there was there's also uh, jinto jos who stays in ambarnath jinto mm-hmm. bhai and uh, you know he's always there for me and uh, these are uh, players or i would say mentor for me uh-huh. who are actually not playing with me but when i need advice i go to them but other than other than that if i talk about my teammates i would say there are different players i would say there is rahul bheke there is uh-huh. pratik chaudhary all the mumbai guys i would say <laughs> we are really a close group of friends you know so yeah. whenever we need each other we are always there for each other and uh, yeah that's all i would say all the players from mumbai especially a uh, close knit of a close gang of yours huh? the mumbai boys yeah. right yeah, there yeah. with you and i mean you mentioned also like yeah these are the people who have definitely influenced you but i'm sure you as a professional player you probably have your own kind of mantra what has been the best kind of advice you keep saying to yourself you know when you're playing a tough match or you know like a crunch match for the for the for example like so yeah, nothing as such nothing specific need my coffee and uh-huh. uh, bread and peanut butter that's it go to the game <laughs> check the ground how's it you know that's you're all like, that's nothing well at least you're a lot better than jimmy wadi that guy has or like two espressos one red bull and he's no. up and ready to go so i i think you'd probably be running around like the energizer bunny like after that like yes and yes. And, and i'm i'm a big fan of peanut butter man good source of nutrients that's actually yes. a really good thing like for those watching not, guys eat peanut butter <laughs> yes yes it should not really be heavy you know i've seen yeah. players eat pasta you know so so many things just before the game i don't know how they manage to play Yeah. you need something light i think peanut butter and bread is just perfect well i'm glad you brought up things about dietary requirements because we'll talk about that later but right now we have a small segment i like to call explainogram farooq in where we dive into a few of your social media posts in which you can give us a much more better description or a detailed description as to the memories that it gives you or what was happening so we'll start off now with our first picture over here there yes. we go So this is definitely in the India colors. Give us yes. a better explanation of this, Varuk. So talking about this, uh, this this is just a very recent picture where I scored my first goal. You know, mm-hmm. I came on as a, came on as a substitute and uh, scored a goal for uh, for the Indian team. And yeah. I would say this is the best moment of my life right now. <laughs> i'm still enjoying it you know it's uh, it's unbelievable to actually score my first goal yeah 
yeah i would say i was really happy i didn't know what to do actually i just went there ran in the corner and i didn't know what to do i didn't know how to celebrate and just you know uh, and i saw thapa coming to me and that hug you know <laughs> yeah i mean again you have a very young career again right now farooq and this is so much that you need to do and see and but right now would you consider this as your as probably the biggest highlight of your career you know representing your country or of course you want to see things move further on as well yeah from uh, i think uh, i this is to represent your country is the biggest thing for any footballer i would say Absolutely. you know you are representing your country and you are the chosen one you know i mean the chosen 23 players out of the whole country so that's a very big achievement mm-hmm. and to actually score goals to actually contribute for the country is is a very big thing for me mm-hmm. and uh, yeah i think this is the biggest highlight for me in my life right now i would say yeah. but i have you know other goals as well i want to score as many goals as i can till the time i play you know i want to uh, uh, give everything i have that's all we can do you know give the best absolutely you have. yes and uh, other than that i would say yeah nothing else i think this is the biggest <laughs> thing in my life right now to play for, for sure my- for sure uh, we'll move to our next picture over here now ah so oh. now we were talking about influences farooq but i'm sure this is your number one fan yes <laughs> <laughs> this so is now, how how big of an influence your mom has been you know like they always say boys and their moms you know they're inseparable i know i'm a mama's boy as well so yes 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 much yes. inseparable so yeah. how much of an influence your mom has been on your football career she has been uh, an amazing supporter for me in everything yeah. until now my father as well they've been supporting me since childhood when i was in school you know uh, i don't know if you have seen this whenever you go for trials or whenever you go for selections there's always a, a few parents who are there for their children you know you would see hardly yeah. one or two they're not yeah. all of them only one or two so my parents are uh, that one and two which you see you know always there <laughs> father and my mother for that thing so i think that's uh, i've been really lucky uh, for that thing and only the thing is like my father is really strict about studies he has always okay. been, like if you don't study you cannot play now I mean, now they are number one fans <laughs> yes 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 for sure for sure they i mean my sure. family as well well yeah. we've noticed so, also this is like i said we, we we pick these out from your social media and we kind of notice that like of course again it's it's very common for most boys they love their moms and especially when you're yeah. like in a professional level that you are Of course, you're gonna post pictures of it. So we notice something like, yeah, like you know, Farooq really likes mom a lot, and I'm sure she's a really big yes, influence yes. and his biggest yes. supporter. So we just want to show you that picture because we know how much she means to you, and you can yeah. even give her a tri- and you've given her a very thoughtful tribute as well to her. So all right, we'll move to our next picture now, Farooq. I'm gonna pick this out for you. So this is also probably just you scoring another one of your bangers. Give yes. us a little bit more brief description of this. a detailed description sorry yes this is my uh, first goal of that season uh, mm-hmm. probably when covid was not there <laughs> uh, yeah so just before this this game uh, we played against odisha and uh, you know i was really close to scoring a goal i actually uh, was trying to put a ball to castel and uh, the defender scored an own goal and i didn't mm-hmm. get my goal you know that was an no. own goal that was not my goal and oh. i got one or two chances in that game again and i couldn't score i was very uh, i was not sure whether should i score or pass you know i missed it and then this was <laughs> the next game it had to come you know you you know that it was waiting it had to come in the next game so this is the game when i was really ready and pity uh, my teammate he took a shot and the keeper just saved it and i was just ready to follow up on that and i got the ball just in front of me i scored this goal Yeah, it was amazing to actually score in front of my uh, supporters, my team's Jamshedpur FC supporters. Uh huh. Amazing, yeah. And then to go on, then I got an assist in the same game. Yeah, that time so, it was just an amazing time I was having on the pitch. To be honest, I'm sure it was. And speaking of amazing times, I'm sure this next picture is going to probably bring you back a memory of an amazing time as well. I mean not everyone gets to stand amongst the gods and that definitely yeah. is a god right there so yes. how did this meeting happen so this was when i was in kerala blasters uh, mm-hmm. so obviously uh, 
uh, Sachin Tendulkar was one of the you know owners of the club. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think he came twice or thrice uh, to meet all of us. You know, amazing guy. Obviously, mm-hmm. everyone knows who he is, the god of cricket. And yeah. uh, to actually meet him, the best part I would tell you. I don't think everyone knows this. So uh-huh. there was the photo. Uh, we had a photo shoot uh, just before ISL started, and also the jersey launch. You know, all the reporters. We were sitting in a very big hall. You know, and there was a big stage. We were just sitting behind the stage, and all the reporters, you know, photographers, they were they were all waiting for us, and we were dressed up uh, all yellow. You can imagine okay. how they dressed us up, and then just we are just waiting for our turn. So one by one, everyone was going on the stage, and we were just sitting. And I think I was talking to uh, Prashant or someone. Uh-huh. And there I see uh, that Sachin Sachin Tendulkar enters. And I was like, I was just watching him. Like, is this for real? You know. And he comes inside. He's meeting everyone, and he knows everyone by their names. That oh, was wow. very shocking for me. He came to me. He said, "Hello, Faru. How are you?" I was like. I cannot believe this. I was, you know, he knows my know name. Like, yeah. like, I don't know what to talk. I'm like, hello, sir. How are you? I'm a very big fan of you. I didn't <laughs> want to say that at that point of time in front of everyone, but you know, you cannot control it, sir. I'm a very big fan of you uh, and all that. So he said, how are you doing? How's training? I said, sir, amazing, good, all good, all good. Then he went on to meet other players. So I think that to be such an uh to be the god of cricket yeah and to know these little little things you know that thing meant very big for me and i think that day i started respecting him a lot more obviously mm-hmm. everyone respects him but that day you know that made me feel that you need to be really humble that shows how humble he is to actually know all the players and that too i was a new player and a junior player who cares wow. who's that player you know Yeah, so yeah. I was just uh, 19 or 20, a new player in the team, and he know he knew me by my name. So that was an amazing thing. This was the second meeting where uh-huh. we had a get together, just a chill session. Uh, he came, he spoke to all of us, just casually, you know. Right now, how we both are speaking, so he spoke like that to everyone, and I think probably he was a little irritated because uh, all the players wanted to get a picture, and I was the last one, so I was oh. really scared to ask him for the picture. <laughs> So that time I managed, and I, I said, sir, 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 please, sir, one picture, one picture. <laughs> <laughs> Then he gave me that typical fanboy, like, no, no, yes, please, yes, please, sir, please. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah. that ends our segment of us, you know, Graham. But I'm still going to stick to this point of, you know, like meeting, you know, your your biggest fanboy moment was definitely meeting Sanjay. But have you had any other experiences where you met like someone of of you know who you've always admired, and you thought like, wow, like I'm I'm sitting in the same room with this person? Have you had other experiences like that? Yes, uh, I would say to actually be in an academy and then look up to the same uh, teams, the senior players, the senior team. Mm-hmm. I would say there were a lot of senior players uh, who used to, who are actually still playing. Let's say Anas Bhai, and uh, there were other players in Pune FC. So that mm-hmm. time to actually just watch them train also was like, you know, oh my God, see Anas Bhai is playing. This player is playing. Yeah. You know that player is playing. so i think that was uh, the moment for me at that time and also uh-huh. i remember anas bhai is so cool that he actually used to call us in his room we would go and sit just so quietly you know not talking anything and he would say are what happened he just fool with you he hit you you know in just <laughs> you know like that only and then uh, he made some banana shake for us I was like, why is this guy? This guy is such a big player. Why is this guy doing all this for us? You know. But then you, he he made sure that we were really comfortable with him, and uh, uh-huh. until now, just an amazing person. One was Anas Bai. The other one, I would say, uh, when I joined Mumbai FC, I uh-huh. played one season with Mumbai FC in the I League. That time, Steven Dias. I met oh, him yeah. for the first time in my life. Uh, I still remember. There's a place in Navi Mumbai uh, called Ulve. we used to stay okay. there and we used to train there and it was my first training session and uh, we actually had to uh, go walking for 5 minutes for training 
and that time we were actually late and hitesh was there with me hitesh sharma we both uh-huh. were walking and everyone everyone left we both were left behind so we were walking and we were saying that oh, now we are late we are gone you know today we are gone <laughs> it's the first day got to see there comes uh, steven dice in the bmw you know he just <laughs> came out next to us and he said uh, sit in the car and i was like i was looking at itish is this steven dice you know and uh, like steven bhai hello you know all that and then i sat in the car and then uh, didn't speak at that time then when we got down that time he was playing for mumbai fc as well Yeah. So when we got down on the training pitch, he spoke to me as if he knew me since my childhood. Like, hello, hello, Faru, how are you? You know, so nicely. Uh, I was really very shocked, and it was. Uh, I don't know how to express that feeling. It made me yeah. uh, feel amazing that time to actually Steven Dice uh, speaking to me like that. But after that, you know, now he's more like a friend, more like a more like an elder brother to me. yeah you know but that respect and uh, that legacy which he has you know in the country everyone knows about it absolutely uh, the second yeah. one was those given dice and third one you know i would say sunil chetri to actually oh, wow. yes yeah but i actually didn't express my feelings but obviously everyone uh, looks up to him you know mm. because he is uh, he is the main main guy if, if you talk about indian football no one can uh, you know uh, say that right now everyone would say that sunil chetri is the best player in the team he yeah. scored so many goals and everything is a legend so uh, i first met him uh, not in the national team i met him first in uh, in powai i think yeah in powai <laughs> there's a fireside uh, turf where uh-huh. actually i played against him uh fire side with my friends uh my teammate karan i mean he called me for that oh uh, yeah he's a friend of the show we had him on here before as well yes, yeah yes 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 so that time he called me uh, so they were playing against uh, sunil bhai i think uh-huh. gurpreet also came so sunil bhai had his own uh, fire side team and then karan bhai told me that we lost last game we need a striker now i'm calling i said okay done then i'm coming so i went there and played <laughs> we won that game that day and that is the first day when uh, sunil bhai actually spoke to me and uh, i still remember he told me that uh, he asked me about me you know he knew that i played yeah. for jamshedpur fc but not really well he didn't know me really well but he told me that uh, you you play really well you know uh, you need to work on your physique right now you need to take care of your nut- nutrition and mm-hmm. uh, you you will be a very good player he told me that day i still remember and that too everyone was sitting there i think yeah. uh, that day west brown also came to play you know mm-hmm. because he was here for some uh, show they have pre match uh, yeah, like shows they have before the yeah. world cup yes yeah. yeah yeah so that time so he was also there so actually for me as a, a youngster when sunil bhai told me all this in front of everyone that was amazing that uh, gave me a lot of confidence that time and then he actually uh, asked me all other details you know how many years are you going to be in jamshedpur fc what do you think about your future and all those things then he told me keep training keep working hard you know always uh, no matter how much you how much you gain how much you win no matter what keep working hard and all of those things so that was the third moment after I'm that sure. i don't think yeah i don't think i've had that moment yet because uh, i really want to meet big big stu- superstars now neymar messi sure. that's that's yeah, impossible farooq yeah. that deep got plenty of time man who knows we <laughs> kal kisne dekha as they say you know like yes, today yes. you're playing for jamshedpur tomorrow you might be playing in the premier league man as and as sunil chetri said you know stick to the process work hard train hard eat well Sure. You never know. The world's your oyster, Faru. Yes, yes. All right, and I also want to ask. You also played against Tim Cahill. What was that like? What was that experience like? That again. How can I forget that? <laughs> Sorry, I missed out on Tim Cahill. <laughs> That's good. Missed out on him. You can make him your top four then. No worry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would say yes. Yeah. Uh, that guy being uh, such a great footballer, he was so humble. You know. and he was so hard working that i mm-hmm. actually cannot believe that he came to india 
for him <laughs> i think the level of isl because he has played in premier league for and for australia you know everyone knows what he has done uh then he was uh, playing football uh, to actually come to india he knows that even though if he doesn't work hard he's going to get to play you know mm. you don't have to actually work that hard but to yeah. be 39 years old to work so hard you know same as all the other players and to beat tim kehil it it's like it's like i want to be that person you know when i am yeah. i am 35 probably 39 when i know that i can be in the first 11 without even working hard why would i do that that ins- that inspires me a lot that guy and he was he was really close to me he was you know he treated me like uh, like his uh, younger brother always mm-hmm. used to fool with me we used to always be be with him he used to call me big player big player like that <laughs> make fun of me yeah he supported me always guided me and he was also like i would say like a coach in the team because uh-huh. uh, he always guided the young players and uh, i learned a lot from him being uh, uh, being a player who plays in the same position as him as a striker mm-hmm. i really learned a lot from him the moments movements he used to make in the games you know to beat the defenders and i would say he's probably the one of the best headers in the world right now mm-hmm. i would say because if if he gets the ball on his head that ball is surely going in the goal post you know no For one sure, is going yeah. to stop yes one of the best and uh, to spend that season with him it was unbelievable to actually when i still remember i was with the national team and i saw a post where it showed that uh, jamshedpur fc is going to sign tim kehil and that was yeah. still a rumor you know and i was like really is this going to happen and then to actually <laughs> see him in the what same whatsapp group to have his number <laughs> Oh god unbelievable unbelievable absolutely i mean all struck i mean again man farooq not everybody yeah. gets to play with tim kehl man so true, like, true, true. you're yes. a lucky man you're a lucky man we'll move on though uh, farooq i've noticed that you're a avid traveler you love traveling and you know you've been also thanks to your football and also as an individual any fun destinations that you have really fond memories of uh we went for an exposure trip to australia so ah. i have some really good memories there in australia with my teammates uh, with nikhil pujari hitesh sharma yeah. and uh, sukhdev uh, and thapa was also there many other players that is the first time when i met all of these players other than that i would say when i went to dubai with my friends i mm-hmm. love the place i saw the pictures on that yeah and your little yes, kandura I, and stuff like that yes yes bashing. i really love the place that <laughs> was my first time yes uh, really like the place and also kashmir I wouldn't forget Kashmir. Kashmir. Obviously, I was just going to remember. I was wondering when is he going to say Kashmir? Yes. <laughs> the experiences I had, the memories I have. If I start talking about it, I don't think we'll have to meet. Probably we'll meet to, and talk. We'll save that for another discussion. Don't worry. Yes, we yes. can. We could probably have the all boss special with Farooq Chaudhary and we're just going to talk about Kashmir. That's it. Like, <laughs> that didn't turn out right, yes. but you get what I'm saying. But we'll move yes. along now. Uh, now, Farooq, you've already said that like you you had so many influences and you've been around so much and you've traveled so much at such a young career. But I have to ask you now, what does Farooq Chaudhary like to do in his free time when he's not banging in goals for Jamshedpur FC? Like, what's what's Farooq Chaudhary's favorite hobbies? And don't give me the generic thing like oh, chilling, going to the gym, hanging out with <laughs> friends. I'm sure you have better activities than that. I don't really like to go out on my rest days. i probably mm-hmm. like to just sit in the house right now i have uh, i just got a uh, playstation 5 ps5 oh so congratulations I, not all of us get that one <laughs> yes i so right now i'm uh, trying to learn different games uh, that and then i just want my people close to me my friends close friends you mm-hmm. know i usually don't open up in front of new people so i really want my people close to me Uh-huh. so i would rather have that time ju- other than just go out or sit somewhere yeah and i need um, chai coffee all day long any time <laughs> if someone <laughs> asks me if someone asks me that uh, you want chai yeah, i would say yes the answer is always yes yeah other than that well, my hobbies i was trying to learn guitar but uh, <laughs> give very up very difficult very <laughs> difficult yeah well, i don't think i'll 
I'm yeah. glad you mentioned chai and coffee and stuff because you also mentioned you like you like peanut butter and stuff like that. Like, but now, now again, this is going to be a now a very generic question. I know everyone will turn around and say it's my mom's cooking. I love my mom's cooking. Mama makes ah. the best food, you know. Like, <laughs> but okay, now Farooq Chowdhury's mom aside, what is yeah. Farooq Chowdhury's favorite go-to dish or cuisine? What do you love to indulge in? Yeah, the first answer was what you already told my mom's food yeah. because that's what I crave when I'm outside. Uh-huh. Uh but other than that if right now if someone asks me that yes we got to go out and have a cheat meal yeah i would say if i am in mumbai i would <laughs> say uh, because from a very long time i have not really had samosa and vada pav i would okay. probably if you ask me that if you want to go out right now i would say vada pav and samosa pav absolutely the go to yes. snack yeah that's yes, it yes. Sure. All right, and and lastly, Farooq, you know, again, we're still talking about a very young career. You still got so much to do and so much to achieve. But I honestly see like you're such a well-spoken gentleman, and you know, like because I've spoken to so many footballers, and a lot of people can be sometimes very shy to open up. But you seem like a person who's very open and very confident in his way of speaking. So, where do you see yourself once you hang up your boots? Because I honestly think that punditry might work for you, bro. <laughs> that. I don't think because uh, right now I know that I'm speaking only to you and there are no people <laughs> around us, you know, and I'm yeah. in my room, so no one's watching. So I think I'm speaking, you know, like a friend to you. Yeah. But uh, going on a show, it's I don't think I've not really given a thought about it. But who yeah. knows, you know? No, I, I'm, I'm only saying I would, that because I when come I was to doing you for training, you know. And dude, I'm learning, learning as I go. Huh? I'm not. I'm no professional as much. But like I said, I was doing research, you know, and seeing all your videos because I know for Jamshedpur also as well. They they always ask you like for the post to the pre match, you know, like what are your thoughts and stuff like that. So I always felt like, oh wow, this this guy is really confident in camera. He speaks really well. So I always felt like, yeah, maybe he's got a future in punditry. But if it wasn't punditry, where would you see yourself once you hang up your boots? Um, that's a. Uh... I've thought a few times about it. I won't uh, lie to you, because uh, it's very normal, you know. You sometimes mm-hmm. sit and overthink because you don't have anything to do. So sometimes when you see other senior players, when you know that it's going to end for them right now, and what mm-hmm. they are going to do do after that, it makes you also think as well. So I think uh, that time when I think I'm really scared. Yeah. Firstly, I'm scared that I don't know what I want to do, and second thing is. Uh, the second thing which scares me is that i won't be able to play football professionally because there will be a point in life where you have to end it yeah. you cannot just go on to play you know so that scares me but um two things i would say uh, one is uh, i i have a business mindset i would say okay. so i have few things in mind which i really want to create of my own Mm-hmm. to make a business out of it and uh, you know other than business uh, we have a, a very short career as footballers as athletes so whatever you earn you have to make sure that you invest it properly mm-hmm. so that you have Absolutely. the rest of your life you have planned it properly so i think uh, uh, probably you know thinking about that and mm-hmm. then to actually think what i am going to do uh, difficult sometimes i think that i want to be a coach but when i see how coaches are yeah know, it it makes me feel that i don't want to be a coach <laughs> yeah well it takes a lot of patience you got to have like the yes. patience of the dalai lama i think you know like, yeah. but also you you need to be a very you need to be very good at uh, man management i would say mm-hmm. because you need to keep everyone bonded in the team more than coaching more than the technical part of it you need to be someone who can keep a group of uh, players together no matter because all the players are not going to get to play yeah so to think all that to uh, take all that stress to after playing football i don't think i would do that but you never know <laughs> i might do if i get a partner right now for coaching i would do it and think about it if i want to do or no but uh, that's one thing second thing was uh, i'm i'm trying to find out what all things i can study i really want uh-huh. to study and try to uh, um uh, try to stay in touch with football mm. i i'm sure there are many ways to be in the team where i can be with the team or be uh, helping in football you know 
I don't know how. I need to find yeah. ways where I can study and uh, be be capable of that. You know. Uh, so I'm really confused. I don't have an answer for this. But there are sure. two yeah. three things which goes on in your head. But it's really yeah. early right now to think about all that. I'm sure. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, again, you're you're so 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 young into your career. You still have so much of time. But and I know it'll gradually come to you eventually. Yes, you know, it it yes. hits you much more later on. But Farooq, yeah. that concludes our interview for today. From all of us at the All Boss Channel, we really do appreciate. It. Thank you so so much for joining us and having us having a chat with us. And for those watching at home also as well, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Karl from All Balls. That is Farooq Chaudhary from Jamshedpur FC. Thank you. And we'll see you when we see you. Cheers, Farooq. Thank you so Thank much, you. guys. Thank you so much.